Picture this scene with me. The year is 1919. The scorching Egyptian sun beats down on the Valley of the Kings in Luxor. A British archaeologist named Howard Carter is carefully excavating in the same location where he would later discover the tomb of the legendary King Tutankhamun. But three years before that world-changing discovery, Carter stumbled upon something equally fascinating, yet completely different. A mummy wrapped in such an intricate and unique way that even today, over a hundred years later, it remains completely untouched. This is the story of the Bashiri mummy, also known as Pacheri, or simply the untouchable one. Now, here's what will absolutely blow your mind. In the world of archaeology and Egyptology, almost every ancient tomb has been opened at least once. Grave robbers, treasure hunters, and even early archaeologists unwrapped countless mummies throughout history. Some did it for treasure, others for research, and many simply out of curiosity. But this particular mummy stands alone. Not because of superstition or ancient curses, but for a far more scientific and fascinating reason. The wrapping technique used on this mummy is so delicate, so intricate, and so potentially unique that modern scientists fear they cannot unwrap it without causing irreversible damage. Let me explain why this matters so much. There's a golden rule in archaeology and antiquities preservation. If you're not absolutely certain you can preserve something in its current state or make it better, then you simply don't touch it. History has taught us painful lessons about this. Think about poorly restored ancient statues or the infamous Exi Homo fresco restoration that became a global embarrassment. These cautionary tales remind archaeologists that sometimes the best preservation is no intervention at all. But what makes the Bashiri mummy's wrapping so special? Pay attention to this incredible detail. The delicate fabric covering the mummy's face features an extraordinary design that resembles a pyramid. Researchers believe this might be the only mummy in existence with this particular embalming and wrapping style. Without understanding the exact ancient technique used to create this pattern, attempting to unwrap and rewrap the mummy could destroy a priceless piece of human heritage forever. The ancient Egyptian embalmers who wrapped this body possessed knowledge and skills that we still don't fully understand today. Now, you might be wondering, how do we know anything about this mummy if it's never been unwrapped. Well, here's where modern science becomes our time machine. Thanks to advanced technology like X-ray scanning and CT imaging, archaeologists can now, you know, peek inside ancient sarcophagi without disturbing a single thread of linen. These technological marvels have revealed fascinating secrets about the Bashiri mummy without ever compromising its pristine condition. What did these scans reveal? Let me share these incredible findings with you. The X-ray analysis showed that the mummy belonged to a man who stood approximately five and a half feet tall. He lived during the Ptolemaic era which means this mysterious individual walked the earth roughly 2,300 years ago. Imagine that. While ancient Greece was flourishing and Rome was rising to power, this man lived, breathed, and eventually was laid to rest with such care and artistry that his burial continues to captivate us millennia later. But here's the mystery that baffled archaeologists even further. The Egypt Museum reported that the X-ray scan uncovered an inscription of the man's name, 
but the hieroglyphics are, well, difficult to decipher with certainty. Some experts read it as Pacheri, while others interpret it as Nen. This ambiguity adds another layer of intrigue to an already mysterious mummy. Who was this person, important enough to receive such elaborate treatment, yet obscure enough that even his name remains uncertain? The decorative casing protecting the mummy tells us even more about ancient Egyptian beliefs and artistry. The museum experts noted that the ornate covering features multiple decorated scenes rich with religious symbolism. You can see the mummy lying peacefully on a bed flanked by the goddesses Isis and Nephthys, who were believed to protect the dead. The four sons of Horus appear as well, representing the guardian deities who protected the internal organs during mummification. At the feet of the casing, Two detailed images of Anubis, the jackal-headed god of mummification and the afterlife, stand watch over the deceased. Every element of this decoration served a purpose, guiding and protecting the soul on its journey to the afterlife. Now let's take a moment to appreciate what makes this discovery even more remarkable. The Bashiri mummy isn't the only one that archaeologists have chosen to leave untouched. Another famous example is the mummy of Isatemkeb. When French archaeologist Gaston Maspero discovered her remarkably well-preserved mummy, he made the conscious decision to leave her in peace. She had been the wife of a high priest, and despite her tomb being raided in ancient times, her mummy remained in extraordinary condition. X-ray technology later revealed amulets wrapped around her neck, right arm and forehead, along with evidence of dental problems and arthritis in her knees. These non-invasive investigations allowed scientists to learn about her life and health without disturbing her eternal rest. The contrast between untouched mummies like Bashiri and Isatemkeb, and unwrapped ones like King Tutankhamun, well, it really highlights an important evolution in archaeological practice. When Howard Carter and his team opened King Tut's nested coffins in 1925, they faced enormous challenges. The young pharaoh's mummy had been doused with, oh, approximately two buckets worth of consecration oils. Over 3,000 years, these oils had chemically reacted with the linen wrappings, essentially gluing the mummy to the bottom of its solid gold coffin. The team tried placing the coffins in the scorching Egyptian sun, reaching temperatures of 149 degrees Fahrenheit, hoping the heat would loosen the hardened resins. It didn't work. What happened next would be unthinkable by today's standards. To continue their examination, the researchers had to chisel the mummy out of its coffin. They cut the torso in half at the hips, disarticulated the arms and used hot knives to separate the head from the famous golden mask. While they did their best to preserve and reassemble the mummy using paraffin wax and resin, the damage was sadly irreversible. This cautionary tale from one of archaeology's most celebrated discoveries demonstrates exactly why modern researchers refuse to touch the Bashiri mummy. The potential for irreplaceable loss is simply too great. So, what do we do with mysteries like the Bashiri mummy? The answer lies in patience and advancing technology. Every year, new non-invasive techniques become available. Three-dimensional imaging, artificial intelligence analysis and other cutting-edge tools may one day allow us to virtually unwrap the mummy, examine every layer of fabric, and even read any hidden texts without physically disturbing a single thread. Future archaeologists might discover the complete identity of this mysterious man.
understand the unique wrapping technique and preserve this knowledge for generations to come, all without ever touching the actual mummy. The story of the Bashiri mummy teaches us something quite profound about archaeology and our relationship with the past. Sometimes the greatest act of discovery is knowing when not to disturb what we've found. This unnamed man from over two millennia ago continues to guard his secrets, not because of ancient curses or superstitions, but because we've finally learned to respect the fragility of history itself. His untouched wrappings stand as a testament to both ancient Egyptian artistry and modern archaeological wisdom. Fellow time travellers, what do you think about this approach? Should archaeologists leave mysterious artefacts untouched until technology advances, or should we risk damage to satisfy our curiosity now? What other ancient mysteries would you like us to explore? Share your thoughts, theories, and questions in the comments below, because your insights might unlock the next great discovery. Join us next time as we continue our quest to uncover the treasures that time forgot and the secrets that changed the world forever. Until then, keep exploring.